And a regional conference on anti-terrorism began today in Mandera. The two-day conference bringing together leaders from Kenya, Somalia and Djibouti seeks to formulate a joint strategy to deal with insecurity in the region. As Mugambi is in Mandera and now gives us the very latest from the conference. Well, thank you very much for coming to you live from Amandera Hotel, where two-day conference on violent extremism and anti-radicalization is going on, bringing together stakeholders from three frontier counties, that is Garissa, Wajia, and Mandera, as well as Marsabit County representatives are here to just delve into the matter headfirst and try to sensitize the communities are living around here uh, to uh, words, you know, giving information to the officers uh, representing the national government here. That is, those are the different uh, contingent of police officers manning the borders so that they can have intelligence information and combat uh, uh, the Al Shabaab as well as, you know, trying to uh, look into means and ways to win back the hearts and minds of the youth that have already been lured into uh, joining the insurgency of Al Shabaab and they have no uh, they have all the reasons that they want to come back but they cannot uh, make that particular move due to fear of uncertainty as well as a fear of the law enforcement agencies that are here so the leaders have actually today uh, called on the government as well as the National Counterterrorism Center to sort of come up with a legal framework uh, a legal framework that will see the youth that have made their way into Somalia to join the insurgency because of one reason or the other but really want to come back are given the opportunity to know to come back and live a normal life so that is uh, what uh, they are countering here in uh, Mandera County and we spoke to some of the leaders and this is what they had to say we'll go to every corner of this uh, region to make sure that the population turn against Al Shabaab and that is our objective we want the population and mass to be speaking about Al-Shabaab, the negative vices of Al-Shabaab, the problems of Al-Shabaab, the impact of Al-Shabaab, and, and, and for them to be able to say we can no longer allow them to move and operate you know, in any area that we know, and that, and, and that is the objective. So as we strategize on how to um, fight this uh, problem through the community, our first strategy is for these people to come back, and a way to accommodate them back or to receive them back must be found in collaboration with the national government and security agencies. Um, maybe first through an amnesty, reception, uh, um, reorientation, integration. And they are keeping quiet not because they like it, it's because of fear, fear factor. So today we are here to address the fear factor so that the communities can arise and say no to Al-Shabaab and be vocal about it. In fact, it's being hush-hush in the communities even if they are around. You know, they are even being called by other names because they are being feared. So we, are, we want to remove this fear factor. Well, the conference continues tomorrow where the citizenry of this particular area will be given a chance to, you know, speak up and say how they want to steer this war against terrorism and the war against radicalization of youth as well as uh, the countering the violent extremism that has really taken a toll here. Well, this conference comes hot in the heels of yet another attack by the Al-Shabaab just uh, two weeks ago where two non-local teachers were killed in Arabia Secondary School. So that is where they have uh, resulted to, uh, to take their operations as well as, um, you know, areas and villages across the border. And that is what this conference seeks to address. Thank you, Hassan Mugambi, giving us the very latest from the anti-terrorism conference that is underway in Mandera.